Hey everyone, welcome to another paint pouring video. Um, it's been a while since I've posted a video. I'm sorry about that. I've been having some creative difficulties and I guess technical difficulties you could say. Um, I actually did three paintings on the weekend. The first two paintings, um, I hated them so much so I scraped them off and I started again. And the third painting I actually was pretty happy with, except that I had neglected to hit the record button on my phone, so there was no video. So I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Anyways, uh, the painting today, I'm doing a white negative space, and I'm uh, pouring the paint out of a tray. And you can see that it's on a Lazy Susan, but I actually... Uh, kind of really minimally uh, use the effects of the Lazy Susan. Well, I use it to help um, do the painting. I've discovered that regardless of um, what kind of painting you're doing, the Lazy Susan is actually really helpful uh, for just ease of painting. It saves you from having to lean over it. And I don't know about you, but I, I tend to I get myself a lot more painty when I'm uh, leaning over things so I'm really loving this lazy Susan uh, the reason I'm not using the pendulum today um, I was feeling kind of gun shy from um, my mistakes from the weekend and I just you know I really wanted to uh, maintain some control I guess and uh, just ensure that I got a, a painting that I was happy with but interestingly enough, uh, you can kind of really tell uh, with this painting um, how like controlled it is. Like, there's something about the other paintings with the with the pendulum, or you know, with spinning the lazy Susan while I'm pouring. It just kind of makes it like more free. This is like more of a just you know, firmly in control kind of painting. Um, it's still okay, like I, I'm still pretty happy with it. Uh, I love uh, how vibrant the colors are, but it was just interesting to like see the difference in the overall feeling that you kind of get with the you know, this painting compared to the other ones that I've been doing. Anyways, so I actually uh, pulled another one of those things where, you know, I thought I was done with the painting and I turned off the camera and everything and then I sat there and I was looking at it. Um, I actually turned the camera back on again uh, and decided that I needed to close up that little gap a little bit more because that top corner, well, now it's at the bottom right corner was kind of disjointed so I wanted to um, kind of just bring it all together a little bit more. So I worked away at that and I got out that straw and just kind of uh, made some of the edges a little bit more interesting. Um, on another note, uh, you can see that there's like a whole bunch of paint kind of uh, on the plastic below the painting. I've decided that uh, I need to stop uh, wasting these skins um, the paint really peels off easily from the plastic and I'm going to uh, kind of jump on the boat with everyone else and start making uh, jewelry out of the skins. Uh, these pieces of jewelry will be available for sale on my website very shortly and you'll be able to see uh, what painting the jewelry was made from. So I thought that was kind of cool. Anyways, I hope you liked watching my video. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure that you've subscribed to my channel. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.